Hello YouTube, welcome to the dojo, you're here with Samurai Man, and today we have the Transformers Deluxe Age of Extinction Lockdown. I finally found him at my local Target up the street. I just went to Target the other day just to see what there was to see. He's looking for some Ninja Turtles, and I saw a Lockdown. They had two of them, so I picked up one, and he's pretty nice. At least his vehicle mode is really nice, I like it. Sleek Lamborghini. I do wish the Lamborghini logo was a little better done. It's just a gold, you know, splotch. Like, they did, they did make the triangle. But all I did was make a gold splotch. It's supposed to be like a bull. It's supposed to be like a, a little bull logo. But better than nothing. They do have a nice Decepticon logo on him. I know he's not a Decepticon and all that. But um, Transformers Animated Lockdown. He's got a logo as well. So might as well just keep that thing, that trend going. I know a lot of people are butthurt about it. But I don't, really don't care. It's a nice logo. Whatever. So nice paint apps on it actually. It's actually got a decent amount of good paint apps. Got some here black for I don't know what this is. I don't think it's lights because it's black maybe bumper area but nicely done these headlights here are very nice kind of like tealish like a metallic teal very very well done nothing on the rims unfortunately they like to skimp out on that a lot then here on the back again more black and then very nicely molded and painted red brake lights and they did a great job on those my favorite part are these windshields and this back i guess window this looks really cool. I just like the design alone. And then the blue clear plastic really makes it pop. That just looks great. I do wish they had windows here, but I can see why they don't. Just because in robot mode, I, it could get in the way. Like, it just would be unnecessary to have in robot mode. There'd just be more folding panels. But he does also have these side view mirrors painted in black. As well as the windshield wipers painted, which you don't often see. You do see the windshield wipers a lot, but you don't ever really see them painted. They're usually just molded. So that's nice. You know, it's a little, nice little touch. I like it. Get what you can. And then from the other side, you really can't see too much of the uh, robot mode, which I like. You can't really distinguish that this is the legs. These look weird. And then here, these are the legs here. These are the thighs. But because of the way they're molded with all these pistons and stuff, it blends in pretty well. You can see the head there, yes. But it's kind of tucked away pretty well. It's not facing outward, at least. And then here, this crotch plate, again, you really can't distinguish that it's a crotch plate. It just looks more like car pieces, which I do like. So I think they did a good job on that overall. I like this vehicle mode. It's kind of small, but I do like it. And they, I think they did a good job on it for what it is. Again, I, I would have liked these windows, but that's that. So you can see it's very cool and well done. I do have my complaints about the robot mode, but this vehicle mode they did a great job on. So really the only things I would have added was paint on the wheels and then these windows and pretty much would have been perfect for me. I really don't think they could, well, obviously they could have made it bigger because this is pretty small. You can see my hand. It's way covering it. But yeah, other than that, it's not bad. Now Lockdown does come with this big old gun here it's kind of like a rifle sniper rifle kind of blaster thing and then we'll show it off more in the robot mode he does have these two angled pegs here you can see that go into the corresponding angled peg holes and at first i saw it and i'm like okay that's not gonna stay at all and then i put it in and i was like wow this is really secure well okay if you shake it a bit it'll, it'll come out but for the most part if you shake it like this it doesn't but yeah that's way more secure than i thought it would be so i can appreciate that and it doesn't look too bad, actually, just because the molding is the same color mold. So maybe if this was a little more forward on it, it'd look better, but this doesn't actually look that bad. This looks like a decent vehicle weapon, and I don't care for vehicle weapons, really. Like, whenever they're in their alt mode, unless they're like a helicopter or jet, they can pull it off. But you're never going to see a car with like like a Lamborghini or a Camaro or a Corvette or anything like the stuff you usually see in the movies and TV shows and all that. Really never going to see them with some sort of missile launcher or Gatling gun or something on the hood or on the back or on the sides. So I don't usually care for that, but I think they did a pretty good job with it on this one. So transform is pretty basic. What you're going to do is like obviously, as always for every car mode in the movies ever, you want to split open the doors, get those out, and it's all attached from the doors all the way to this back bumper. It's all one giant chunk, so... Get that out of the way as much as you can for now. We'll pull out these legs here. You can see comes out, folds out this whole piece. So the arms are all one giant solid chunk. And same with the legs. They're all one solid piece here. So just break them apart here. There's a nice little tab that's very secure, which I do like. And that comes out. Ooh, flipping around everywhere. So what you want to do here is separate these headlights and bumper pieces. And then kind of fold everything here. This whole component completely backward a couple of hinges right here we got one here that actually actually swivels as well so we got one two three hinges right here so just bring it back and what you're going to want to do is 
swivel it around also, ta-da, bring out the head, and bring it down, the arms are now facing the proper direction. Kind of reminds me of Human Alliance, or not Human Alliance, um, the deluxe class of Skids and Mudflap from Revenge of the Fall, and they had a similar thing where you had to rotate the whole body, basically, to get the arms lined up with everything. So that's cool. And then I'm trying to remember if there's anything that these need to do, or if they just sit there. I don't think they do anything. I mean, they can't fold, but I don't think they need to. I think these kind of just sit here. I'd have to double check, but I'm pretty sure those just sit there. And then go ahead and rotate the feet at the thigh. And then fold up the feet. So the feet are done. And the body's pretty, for the most part pretty much done. Now I just need to collapse everything. It looks kind of funny there, just the way it is. But yeah, kind of just like collapse everything down. What we're going to do here is take this back taillights section. And what, we, what we're going to do, what we're going to do is, I think it's tabbed in or something. It's, it's in there. there it is. Okay, so take it. It's on a double hinge as well. Bring it around just to like, you know, break it up a little, give them a little bit of armor on the side just to make it a little more robotic, a little less car. And do it on both sides, bring it around. They don't really tab in, they just sit there, but they do a good job of it, so no worries. Then I do declare we are going to need to do some folding of these panels. Big surprise! Fold up these panels on this double hinge. There we go, that folds up. I bet you guys didn't see that coming. And then what you're going to do, take these arms, you can see they are on hinges as well, bring them around. And we're going to bring up this whole body section, and it does tab in at the back of the waist. You can see this black chunk. It's kind of hard to see, but there is a tab right here where my thumb is. So you do want to just like tab that into the corresponding tab hole, if I can line it up. There we go. So that's done, and we're pretty much done with everything. Let me double check it all, make sure everything is good. Oh yeah, if you want, ro well, I guess it's kind of part transformation, but rotate out the hands. And I'll talk about why I don't like them in a sec, but let's just finish transformation. So yeah, okay, kind of just like fold these inward. There we go. And we're done! Not a bad figure. I know a lot of people complain about it, but I think it's nice. So we have Lockdown transformed completely. And he's not bad, honestly. I know a lot of people complained. I wouldn't have mind black, just because he was black in the show. I know with the Takara version, the outer rims of his face are black. And I think this is alright for me. I don't mind the way the face is. I know it's gotten complaints, but it's fine. I do appreciate these being painted in this goldish brass color with some silver around it. I think that looks nice. Very cool. They did a good job on that. More than I expected. I really didn't think anything was really going to paint it. Some more of that nice paint, silver paint here at the ankles. The hands as well. I thought the hands were molded in this color. I didn't realize they painted them, but still not that great. Because the hands do look really cool. They're very pointy and everything. I do like the silver paint. That looks nice. It breaks it up. But at the same time, they are just door panels, and I hate that. Almost every single figure we've gotten so far, at least Deluxe and Bulkhead, has been a just, just panels, arm panels. I hate arm panels. That's like my least favorite thing on a Transformer is arm panels. They're just so ugly when you want to have like a nice pose or something. Like, this could be great. You could be doing some great poses, but not with this. And Bulkhead, or not pff, Bulkhead. Hound has that same issue, and I hate it. Same with Bumblebee, same with Crosshairs, and luckily Drift does not have it. Luckily, High Octane Bumblebee doesn't have it. And Optimus kind of has it, but he rocks it a little better. There's a little more to it, so he makes it work. But yeah, Lockdown, no. He could have been greatness. And here we have a close look at Lockdown's face. Lots of amazing molding, actually. It's really well done. People are like, oh, it's not show accurate. And I have to say, how? I think it's pretty show accurate. Very scrunched up face with a big old forehead. That's how I remember it. I mean, I know I haven't seen the movie in a while, but that's how I remember it. But it looks good to me. I don't really don't have any complaints about the face. Maybe a little more color, just because it is the molding does get kind of lost in there. But it's nice. It does have kind of light piping, but it's really just this little bit here. I mean, let's see if I can get some decent light going through it, which I can't. Obviously, because I'm, I'm not cool enough. But yeah, I do like the chest as well. We got a nice little, again, that Lamborghini symbol. Is, this is basically supposed to be the front of the car. Remember, I showed you those black bits. And then the logo. They broke up the logo into two pieces, which I thought was cool. That is accurate. But they kind of didn't fake it as much as you'd think. Because this is both real. These sides are part of the actual car. Even though this bit is completely fake. But I appreciate that they're trying. Because Drift had the same thing. They actually did... Make him give him a real chest, which I thought was cool. Bumblebee's is fake, but eh. High Octane Bumblebee's real. Uh, Optimus Voyager is fake. So is Leader Class Energy. They're both fake. 
Crosshairs is super fake. He's like fake on everything. And then Hound is fake also, I think. I want to say no, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, at least they're trying for him and Drift, so that's cool. I think that's cool. Now you can bring in his BOG, BFG actually, gun. And he's got a little peg here, and you can hold it. He's got his big old snapper rifle. He's like, I'm going to get them Autobot fellers, those Autobot boys. And I'm going to catch them. Again, you can get some decent poses out of him. We'll go over the articulation. But yeah, you can get something like that, which isn't bad. I think that's pretty cool as it is. But we know what we came here for. We all know what we're expecting. Something that I don't think is—I don't think has ever been done with the transform before. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm not too sure. But let's see. It goes on like this. Yes, yes, yes. It does. All right. So there's like a little groove in his head. You can see it's kind of split. It's got this peg right here in the inside of this giant cavity. Mm, it's an interesting shaped cavity. We'll go ahead and fit everything together and see what we can get out of it. I mean, I'm just guessing here, but I think this might go together based on what I'm seeing. There it is. So, bam! Gun face. It's all the rage with Transformers. They're all taking selfies like, here's my gun face. Mmm, holla, gun face. Maybe they'll do one where they're have their back towards the mirror and they get that reflection in there and they're like ooh selfie gun face you know transformers in their gun face but yeah it's not bad you know i think it looks pretty cool i think it looks nice i mean if you look at it dead on it looks cool if you look at it from the side you can kind of see his face but they did a good job with it i like it more than i thought originally i saw the gun and i was like okay that's not gonna work it's gonna look like a gun sitting on his head but this works. I could definitely, you know, you can get some pose where he's like, I've done a pose already. I took a picture on my Instagram and he's kind of like getting ready to launch. Or not launch, but like blast. And that doesn't look bad. I mean, if I get it standing, it'd look a lot better. But you know what I'm trying to do. We get we get it. We get it. There it is. I mean, get Like that doesn't look too bad. So I can appreciate what they're doing here. I like it. And that was his big thing for the movie was the gun face. So at least they tried. And they did a good job with it. And also for the weapon, it is just a push blast weapon. So you grab these two little side areas and then just... Whee! Fires pretty well. It's not bad for a friction blast weapon. But again, what you want to do, just like with the tank ore I showed off, pull this bit forward. There you go. You hear it click. Then you put in this because this little ball here is going to get stuck if you don't pull it forward first to get everything together. Oops. If I can get it, I just, I'm just weak. I just don't got no muscle. Really? really? Okay, I think, I, there we go. It's because I pushed it back a little more. But there you have the weapon. Not bad. Pretty nicely done molding, actually. It's kind of got these pistons here. You can see. It's a nice kind of like grips handle thing. I don't know what those are, but they look nice. Not bad. Now for the articulation, as I said before, he has a pretty good arti amount of articulation. We have here a hinge at the shoulder. It's actually kind of like a hinge and a ball, so you can get a good amount rotation because it is a ball again bring it outward kind of with that hinge you can bring it outward it does have a bend at the elbow and a rotation at the elbow instead of the bicep so that's cool decent amount of bend if you get in the right place you can get a 90 nothing at the wrist obviously because it is just one solid chunk but not bad you could still get some decentness it's very thin you can see but not again it's not as bad as i thought it was it's, it's a little better looking in person but still Nothing at the waist, just because it the waist just pegs into the back, so you can't do anything with it. Thighs are on a connecting joint, so if you bring one forward, the other one kind of goes. I mean, you can. They don't have to go, but since they are, you know, you get that. You can't bring it out. You can see it's kind of like a giant spring, which is kind of cool. At least it's kind of like a car piece there, so good on them for that. You rotation at the knee instead of the thigh, and a bend at the knee. Very nicely done bend. And ankle pivot, pretty good. Not too shabby. It is transformation, but it's useful. And that's not bad. You can get something out of it. You know, I've gotten something out of it. Like, if you had two pistols or something, borrow, like, crosshairs, pistols, just... I could totally see it just, like... Something like that. I don't know. But not bad. Oh, and the head. I always forget the head. Head's on a ball joint. Can kind of look up. Can kind of look downish. But rotation all the way around is good, so that's what we're looking for. And here you can see for comparisons, we do have 
the Age of Extinction Evolution 2-Pack Bumblebee, Age of Extinction Voyager class, Optimus Prime, and the animated Lockdown, the original Lockdown here with Age of Extinction Lockdown. And the size, again, it's not the greatest for scale. He is a bit chunky and small when he should be very lean and tall, just like his original counterpart. But I do like how they both have the thigh wheels. I think that's a nice little nod to each other. I don't know if they're going for that. But they both have similar wheels. Again, their hands are similar, kind of just like creepy pointy and all that. A lot of people were hoping he'd get that hookshot hand that he did have in the movie. He actually did have a hookshot hand in the movie. At least for one scene. I don't know if it was prominent throughout the whole movie. I can't remember. And I really would have appreciated if he had that as well. Fortunately, he didn't. But at least he got the gun face, which we, you know, that was his big thing for the movie. So, he did get that. He could be taller compared to the rest of the dogs of his own line. I know that... It's cr this is about to sound crazy, but uh, this guy's a Voyager and this guy's a Deluxe. And look at their size differences. They're nearly identical. He can just transform us into vehicle mode very small, compact. He is crazy compact, which is what should have been done with this guy. They should have had him in a very compact vehicle mode like he does have, but they should have had him elongate much more. And unfortunately, they did not do that. So, to be in better scale, he should be about his size or maybe maybe about to his chest just to fit a little better with Bumblebee but yeah he he's not a bad figure by himself but with the rest of them it doesn't look that great I guess that that's what I'm trying to say because he's even smaller than Bumblebee so what happened there when they were making him what happened to making him you know in scale with the rest of his deluxe buddies or enemies and so to transform this guy back we'll just start by flipping down the feet and rotating them towards each other bringing them together if I can remember oh no wait I did it backwards rotate them facing outwards not inwards no wonder I was like wait a cotton pick a moment where's that tab at where the doodle there we go so tap them together very nicely line them up very cool just line up the door handles obviously you know we know how that works just our door doors just doors Line up those panels together, just we, we get that routine all the time. Split apart this whole chest component and the head and everything, rotate it around. Again, we want the face to be like this and the body to be like that. Bring up, split up this parts here just to get them out of the way. Don't want any collisions. And bring this whole component downward. And what we're going to do here is again on this hinge, if I can find out where it starts and ends. Bring up this whole component, fold it around. Ooh. I'm not doing it right. There we go. Yes. Bring that around. You want to have it like that. Kind of lay out this whole piece like that. Rotate the arm. Or, I don't know. Did I have it rotated? I don't know. But you want the arms facing this way, basically. And kind of condense this whole body up, everything. Rotate out. Let's see. Or no. Never mind. Fold up the crotch plate like this. There we go. Now we're getting it. Now you're getting it. Ah, now I see. Actually, what I want to do is I'm going to rotate the face like this just to keep from getting it scratched. There we go. I don't. You don't really need to do that. I didn't have that like that before, but just to make sure this cross plate doesn't rub into his face. And there's plenty of space over here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And just bring it all in. There it is. It's all coming together. Just really need to tab everything in. That's pretty much it. Let's see if I can make sure it all lines up. Right on you. There we go. There we go. Get this. These little panels around this piece there it is that'll keep that nice and together and then let's see bring this door like this there we go there we go so you want it like this yes and what is, what is, what? there we go all right last but not least bring in these which were the shoulder pads bring them together they just tab in there you can see those tabs and voila i don't have it right do i or do, do i have it right Something doesn't seem off these tires seem a bit. There it is. I got it. I heard it click. You gotta really make sure that this is kind of hard to see, but there is a bit in there that folds into a perfect groove made for it. You gotta really make sure it's pushed in there because the, both times I transformed it on and off screen when I first got it, same thing. Uh, the wheels were like really low and I'm like, that doesn't seem right. And then I just like had to push in the crotch plate a little more and it just, everything set itself up. So bam, there it is. So overall, I definitely think this is a worth having figure. It's It's got some really nicely done paint applications. I think the molding is also really cool as well. I think this vehicle mode is just really sleek and cool looking. I wouldn't mind, again, black. Would have been more movie accurate. 
I just think the reason they chose this color is just because I think black would have looked maybe too bland. I don't know maybe what they were thinking behind that. Maybe kids would have thought the black would have been too bland and boring. And this at least breaks up a little. But black would have been more accurate. But for what it is, this is definitely a nice secondary color that they chose. It definitely looks nice. It's a dark color. It's very... I can see this being like a camo color. You know, it's kind of like swampy and stuff. So, And he was in the swamps a lot. Or at least for the scenes that we saw him in. So not bad. I do like these clear bits. They show off a lot of kibble. But they look really awesome in return for that. So that's not too bad either. A lot of nicely done vehicle mode paint job. Just because... You don't usually see too much paint in vehicle mode, ever. It really like the movie. The movie ones, yes, just because what they do for the movies is originally the first movie. There, Michael Bay was like begging to have people let let or begging to have the companies let him use their cars in his movie. Like, please come on, Camaro. Come on, Chevy. Chevy, let us use that Camaro. Come on now. Let's uh, let's give it up. And then you know he had to pretty much beg to be like, hey, is it cool if I use your car and blow it up later? That, you know, the licensing and all that. But by the time we got to this movie, all the other companies were like, Yo, yo, Michael Bay, use our car. Use it. No, no, no. Get rid of that guy. Get, no, don't talk to Ford. You're looking at me. You're looking at me. Hey, over here. And they were pretty much fighting over whose car was going to be an Autobot, basically. They don't want no Decepticons, if they could. Because, no, they, they, they pretty much they were trying to be like, Yeah, our car is an Autobot. It's a really cool, good guy. You, you saw him in that movie. Go buy it. They don't want it to be like, like in Sideways. I don't remember what car he was, but he died in the beginning. Nobody wants to buy that car now. I don't know, I'm just assuming. But yeah, so not bad. I think overall this is a good figure worth having regardless of the size. Voyager obviously would have been better, or even Deluxe is fine if they had done it like they did the animated version. If they had done it exactly like that, but with these parts and all that, I think that would have been better. But it's cool for what it is, and I appreciate what they did with it, and he will look nice on the shelf, so... There we go. I was excited to have it. I'm glad I own it. It's a lot better than I thought it was. So, anyways, guys, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel on YouTube, as well as follow me on Tumblr at Macation. I'll get pictures of this guy up as soon as I can. And Twitter at Macation. And Instagram at Mechas of Iron Heart. Yep. We'll have a good time just showing off all these pics and stuff. We've already got some pictures on Instagram and all that. But anyways guys, take it easy, have a great day, and until next time, please shoot.